Bob and Judith Mumford here from our home in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's our great joy to come and be with you, greet you on this Christmas season. Uh, we have waited for some years to see Happy Holidays give way to a Merry Christmas. <laughs> and right. and uh, we really do want to greet you uh, in the Christmas spirit, the birth of our Lord Jesus. Um, the, the the weight of Scripture is on the Incarnation. Yes. And uh, we wanted to just talk to you a little bit about the nature and the reality of the Incarnation. And there's a book that has been deeply affected, Judith and I, We've had it for some years, and yeah. can you just <clears throat> talk yeah. to us a little bit? Ken Geyer's book, uh, we've read this different Christmases. Yes. The stories in here, Intimate Moments with the Savior, Learning to Love. And there's a story in here that's so dear to us, and it's about Mary and Joseph, and um, the intimate moment with Mary and Joseph. So Bob's going to read yeah. a bit of bit of that to us. Yeah. The, the weight of Scripture gives us uh, the Son of God is used some 58 times in the New Testament. And strange weight of Scripture is Son of Man is used 199 times. And Jesus sees himself identifies himself as son of man and when he comes in humanity um, our emphasis has been so strongly on uh, the deity of Christ that we've almost lost the joy and the reality mm. of Christ as a being a human and so uh, just couple paragraphs from this book would speak to us and uh, I, we felt like it's something we really did want to share with you because it, it touches something very deeply in all of us. Listen to the record of the birth of Christ in the stable. Um, the birth would not be easy either for the mother or the child. For the royal privilege of this son ended at conception. A scream from Mary knifes through the calm of that silent night. Joseph returns breathless, water sloshing from the wooden bucket. The top of the baby's head has already pushed its way into the world. Sweat pours from Mary's contorted face as Joseph, the most unlikely of midwives, in all Judea. <laughs> Involuntary contractions are not enough. Mary has to push with all of her strength, almost as if God were refusing to mm. come into the world. Then he cries. Mary bears her breast and reaches for the shivering baby. She lays him on her chest and her helpless and his helpless cries subside. His tiny head bobs around in unfamiliar terrain. This will be the first thing the infant king learns. Mary can feel his racing heartbeat mm. as he gropes to nurse. Deity nursing from a young maiden's breast. Could anything be more puzzling? more profound. Tears pool in Mary's eyes. She touches his tiny hand, and hands that once sculpted mountain ranges mm. um, clings to her finger. And so Judith and I want you to hear, and we want to share deeply and personally with you. The Incarnation is a concept, not a precept. It's a, a concept that changes the way we approach life. 
The incarnation was for Christ to come to us as a human being in order to take us to his Father. So we bless you this Christmas season and we enjoy um, the years of sharing with everyone who seeks to hear the goodness of, 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 of our God who came to us in the person of Christ.